A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this channeling session, I'm going to be talking about the masculine energy that is mirroring the feminine energy. Goes through an important lesson, a mirrored lesson basically, where the masculine learns to ignore negative 3D reality. It's very important. This lesson is such an important lesson because feminine learns it before masculine. How? Because feminine advances first and then it goes on healing the other aspects. Most people don't know that it is our own focus that creates anything in our life. It increases it or it can decrease it. When we focus a lot on poverty or heartbreak or separation or negativity of any kind, then that particular problem or that particular situation becomes bigger. If you look at it through a microscope, you will realize that even a tiny particle can look big, right? Similarly, a lot of people have this very bad habit of focusing very deeply on negative aspects of life. And maybe in the past, masculine also had this extremely bad habit of focusing on all the flaws of the feminine or focusing on all the problems that were existing in their relationship. So he would constantly think that this will not work out, that will not work out, this will create a problem. It could possibly be social status or it could be monetary difference, some financial aspects in their relationship or maybe he realizes that his mother or sister or some other toxic feminine, some auntie, they have picked on to something, some quality, some habit and they keep talking about it again and again that this is a problem, this is a problem, say age gap is a problem. So he keeps thinking about the age gap all the time and he keeps feeling and then he also keeps feeding on to it. Then he starts reading about some articles and he starts watching some TV shows based on that. And then he starts talking to his friends about it. And when a person is negative, then other people also feed into that point or whatever those multiple points are. Due to this reason also, even if the problem is not very big, the masculine has a very bad habit of exploring it so deeply that it starts appearing like a mountain starts appearing like from a small tiny dot like a dust particle it becomes an elephant size problem which obviously the masculine does not know how to tackle or how to deal with he cannot brush it away he cannot laugh it off he cannot see it as a joke or he cannot even think that you know this is happening to so many people in the world but they are happy then why can't i be happy or why can't my relationship be a good relationship or a positive relationship he does not focus on the positive aspects of the feminine and their relationship at that point in time. In this channeling, I am being shown that the masculine actually seeks inspiration from the feminine. What happens here is that the feminine is the first to learn these lessons. The person who gets discarded first. So it could be the male who got discarded by a female and it could also be a female who got discarded by the male. But the key factor is, the key point is that the one who got discarded first, I am being shown that that person is the one who becomes successful. That person is the one who learns the lessons faster and much before the other person. The one who chooses a karmic relationship or a karmic job or a karmic country or a karmic entanglement, whatever scenario they choose, they are the ones who have more fears. They have more fears. That's why they were not able to, you know, take a stand or they were not able to say that, no, I love this person only and I'm going to stick with this person no matter what. No matter how many difficulties are thrown on my path, as long as I'm happy with this one, I don't care. I'm happy with this one person. So I don't want anything or anybody else. I will figure things out slowly and gradually. That level of intelligence was not in the person because they are the ones who discarded. They are the ones who were weak. They were weaker. And maybe it could be possible that their weakness was the very reason why the other person was also getting pulled down. So I am being shown over here the one who had feminine energy, stronger feminine energy. 
that person whether it was a male or a female doesn't matter but the one with stronger feminine energy whose kundalini had awakened before the other is the one who becomes extremely successful and success is not not always about money it could be just a discussion between the two that i want to do this in my life or i want to do that in my life and the other person is able to do it they are able to fulfill their dreams without involving themselves in a marriage or a commitment or anything of that nature the one who is weaker in this relationship whose kundalini had not awakened even though they seem to be an intelligent person and all the situations were favorable for them they wanted a certain type of person and they got that person whether it's a catalyst masculine a catalyst uh, person over there or it is a genuine lover in any case the other person learned from the problems of that relationship that other person was obviously heartbroken i'm sure they had a lot of pain after getting discarded i'm sure they could not sleep for many nights i'm sure they felt like the world is about to end and it was not easy so they managed in those days months weeks even years by themselves and then one fine day they realized when the dark night phase got over they realized that i'm going to get up and i'm going to fulfill my goals i'm going to live my life and i'm going to be a happy and grateful person they stopped obsessing for the other person who had discarded them and that person is now doing whatever they don't care whether they are married or they are in a commitment with someone else or you know they are living somewhere in paradise or wherever it seemed to be paradise like they did not care they did not turn around and look back at that person finally with time things i'm being shown changed and as i said it's not just about money yesterday's channeling i was shown that the the money part was also important because in some cases the person was discarded because of money because they did not have enough money or they did not enjoy those privileges in life that the other person wanted to enjoy like i'll give you an example of kardashians in this case because kardashians also symbolize the karmics they are hardcore karmics so kim kardashian left kanye west she got divorced she even started dating with someone else in front of him she maligned him publicly she did a lot of bad things to him and now he's found someone else and he's married but he is not married as a first step he tried to convince her he begged her begged with her he said that okay i'm sorry he said i'm not leaving you i want the kids to be happy she she did not care at all because she is a typical karmic and she kind of humiliated him to a level that she was on camera talking about taking shower with another man while she has four children and then she went out on camera talking ill about kanye west like that man had to go through a lot and even he got ultimately discarded he got ultimately discarded by her and finally he's living a good life he's found someone else now we don't know where this marriage is going to go or what's going to happen and we cannot compare also but as an example i'm giving it to you because it's in the public forum similarly there are people in the twin flame ascension journey who were discarded by their partners whether it was a false twin whether it was a catalyst masculine or feminine whether it was an actual soulmate a true lover who was weak at that point in time they also went through a lot the the one who was running away the one who was escaping they obviously chose an easy path they thought that i just want to be happy i don't want to be in this toxicity i don't want to be in this mess sometimes a lot of people misunderstand difficult situation as toxic situation every situation is not toxic in some cases the situation is simply a difficult situation maybe the family members are presenting a problem maybe uh, this person has a extremely toxic mother and when this extremely toxic mother she sees any partner any partner any potential partner she feels like it's a threat so she will not want any anybody to you know be with this person now some of these toxic mothers 
दे हैव अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज दे आर वेरी मच अटैच टू मनी मे बी दे फील दैट माई डॉटर और माई सन इज द ए टी एम मशीन वट एवर दे अर्न दे गिव इट टू मी बट इफ दे मैरी सम वन एल्स और इफ दे आर अंडर सम वन एल्स इज इन्फ्लुएंस और इफ दे आर इन सम डीप कमिटमेंट विद सम वन एल्स मे बी अ लीगल कमिटमेंट देन आई विल नॉट हैव द एक्सेस एंड आई विल नॉट हैव द पावर सो दे कीप टेलिंग देर सन और देर डॉटर ओ दिस इज नॉट अ गुड पर्सन फॉर यू दिस इज नॉट अ गुड पार्टनर फॉर यू दिस पार्टनर इज नॉट अ नाइस पार्टनर दे विल चीट ऑन यू दे विल लीव यू दे विल डम्प यू दे विल डू दिस दे विल डू दैट वट एवर यू नो दे थिंक एंड If it's a weak person, they will believe, and who won't believe family members? Everyone listens to their family members because everyone wants a partner who can be in harmony with the family members, right? But it's only after they discard their genuine person and they hang around with the karmic, they realize that the karmic is a bigger problem because the karmic has enslaved them. The karmic has put them into more. problems bigger problems they thought the karmic would be the best person for them but that's not happening two years pass by three years pass by four year pass by but it keeps getting worse every single day while with their genuine person there was a lot of understanding there was a lot of forgiveness they would keep accepting this person back again and again again and again and they always thought that you know this accepting back is some kind of weakness but it was not weakness it was just taking the higher road however the other person was not ready to see the higher road as a higher road they thought that i am too good i am too good they got over confident and in their over confident they hurt that person who in this channeling as per me is more successful is more happy is more content and not only they are happy and content they are also inspiring a whole lot of a whole bunch of people including the one who discarded them so success can be anything success can be getting your dream job success can be just feeling very content success can be managing all the relationships that went bad some time back success is also in your spiritual life in your inner work and success is also mission work it is said for a fact that anybody who is in the twin flame journey if they are doing their mission work if they have started generating resources for their mission work and they've started living the purpose of their life they are the first ones to be in union because your union actually happens within yourself and after union you see everything blending well outside in the outside reality and then the final stage of singularity appears so my dear friends whosoever resonates with this channeling you have to understand that there is a theme of inspiration even though you might be upset with the other person who discarded you and treated you very badly they brought a lot of embarrassment to you shame humiliation you even lost your respect in front of family members because everybody was like if you cannot keep your own personal relationship in good space how can you help anyone else why you keep giving us lectures on spirituality when your whole life is a mess they had to go through a lot but finally they figured out that this turmoil this dark night this rejection is actually their protection they are being protected by god and god is holding their hand right now i'm also being shown that a lot of people have received contacts or apologies they were contacted by those people who discarded them and they were told that you know what i'm sorry for whatever i did because in the last weeks months weeks is not happening weeks is very less for this type of case maybe you can say years two years three years one year the other person who had given them the ultimate discard goes through a lot of problems they go through a plethora of problems and in those problems they continue to miss this person they continue to think about this person and out of you know that factor of missing the other person they check on this person they are looking at this person's life they are stalking this person and they see that this person is very happy because energy is something that you cannot hide even if they would not have stalked on to this person they would have still figured out that the other person is definitely much happier and a lot 
you know they are a lot in peace maybe they talked you know they discussed they talked about their lives and the other person asked them like what's up with you how are you doing i'm not happy i really regret my decision and i'm really feeling bad for whatever i've done to you can you please forgive me i'm so sorry don't know if things can you know turn around in life again but i'm really sorry cuz i'm stuck in this dark hole it never gets better it only keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse no matter how much i try no matter what i do it is always a horrible situation but when i look at you i see that you are flourishing you are doing great you are progressing you are a happy person you inspire me you make me happy you make me smile thank you so much for being you thank you so much for doing you you actually did the right thing you did not make the same mistake that i made so all of those things they say all of the, those things they feel as well for those who are actually genuinely doing inner work let me tell you no matter what people say on different youtube channels and even when everyone says that they are dishing out the truth the biggest fact is that this journey takes time before time nothing can happen and you will not see such big shifts in just a year or two you have to wait for that time because it takes time for you also to heal they always say that if you get discarded by someone or you are dating a narcissistic person and that narcissistic person treats you very bad don't think about them forget about them you do whatever you love and to be able to do what you love you should remain single for at least 2 years at least 2 years minimum 2 years you should be single and in those 2 years you should only focus on yourself on your health on your fitness on your lifestyle on becoming a better version of you and after that people will flock around you it would become difficult for you to reject so many people because you have been rejected in the past so you feel like okay i don't want to reject others so you will be careful you will not give too many hopes to anyone you will not flirt too much with anyone you will not keep people as carpets or you will not keep people as like okay i want to use them flirt with them do some time pass and then move on you will not do any of that you will respect other people because you will feel that i'm still not ready for a relationship or i'm still not ready for this or that and if you are very lucky then god will put you on mission work you will find your mission you will know what exactly you are here for and that will take another one year another two years and i can say this to all of you who are listening because i started working on this subject since 2009 and 10 and we are in 2023 right now so after all these years of experimentation working through this type of journey being in relationships being with other people not being with other people making a conscious decision to do only mission work because at the end of the day no matter how many relationships you are in if you are not into thorough inner work and if you are not into mission work you will not be happy maybe the other person is happy with you but internally you will not be happy you will only be completely happy you will feel absolutely happy once you enter your mission work and your mission work will give you feelings and emotions and a lifestyle that you had never imagined before it will give you the gratification and the happiness when you connect with source when you do source integration and when you are in your you know absolute best phase you cannot even imagine what all you will receive because by the time you understand unconditional love by the time you know so many things happening around you you would be contacted by so many people who were in the past in your life every single person will come to you and tell you they appreciate you so much they love you so much and they don't know why they love you so much they have no idea why they love you so much how much they respect you how much they want to be around you how much they don't want to ever lose you and you would be confused because so many people are wanting to be with you who should you pick and choose and that's when you will leave this decision on god because let me tell you my dear friends if you are destined to be with someone 
in a certain stipulated period of time on a certain date it's literally like an out of body experience it will happen this is literally like birth and death because our birth and our death is also pre written the day we are born and the day we'll die we don't know how much time we have we really don't know how many days we are left with it can happen tomorrow also we can die next week you can die next month next year maybe 10 years later we don't know so we need to make the most of this precious life in order to learn the thing that we are here to learn and that is unconditional love twin flame journey works in such a way that via romantic delusions and illusions a person learns about unconditional love and that's why these relationships are extremely important and when you reach a stage where even those people who had discarded you or those people who thought that you're a stupid idiot dumbass person when they also come back to you and they beg to you for forgiveness they tell you i am cursed by you some of them will even tell you that i am cursed because i hurt you and ever since i've hurt you i am living a very miserable and unhappy life that's when you will understand the power of things turning around for you things becoming good for you and in this channeling session this is exactly what i am being given that the one who got discarded and i'm talking about the ultimate discard the discard that hurt you the most the discard that led you to inner work that discard that made you become a person who only wanted to be the better version or the best version of who they are that when that person also turns around after 3 years 4 years 5 years whatever doing your inner work because see the sooner you get into inner work the so sooner you stand on your feet the sooner you become independent the sooner you get out of waiting energies the faster your journey will propel so on this note i am going to close this channeling session thank you so much for being here with me one love and peace out and jai shri ram